Hello everyone, this is Fusil Yoshi, and we're back with more Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we did some more stuff in Monster Arena, I think. Actually, I'm going to be completely honest here, guys. It's been quite a... It's been a very long time. It's been like a week and a half since I recorded, so I'm not 100% sure of everything that happened last time. Um, I don't know what we're supposed to do next, because uh, I, I watched some recordings, but... Apparently I forgot to check this one part, because I don't even remember when I re-alchemized uh, this, the Chunky Cheese. It was in my alchemy pot when I started booted up the game. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it, uh, protection against heat and cold. But anyway, if I remember correctly, I do think we need to go to the island just north of Barakrat? Um, I think that was the name of the town. Excuse me, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coughing up the storm. Any uh, yeah. Zoom on over to... Baccarat or something? That's something like a name of um, um, a card game or something, isn't it? Baccarat? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so yeah, it looks like we're going to chase after Dual Magus because of. Wait, did they say Dual Magus was heading to that island or the search party was um, looking for Dual Magus in that direction? Okay. But anyway, I think that's our next dungeon, so we'll be on our head on over there. Our ship should be over here, and we'll just head north. I uh, guess we'll just follow the road. Hmm. So, how are you guys doing today? Uh, ooh, whoops. Ooh, jumping jackals, huh? Jumping jackals. Is that like jumping jack flash or something? I don't know. Not sure what that reference is supposed to be. Actually, you know what? Let's just. Ooh, that's a lot of MP. We'll save that for like the boss or something. But otherwise, we'll just attack these guys normally for now. Oh! There was also something else I forgot to mention. Apparently... Oh! Wow. Okay, that was more than I was expecting. Um, apparently, I need to check my equipment because... I, I left a note next to the box of this game that says... Remember to check the ring. It's gone from the arena. So I guess I need to do that, too. Uh, Angelo, you go ahead and mid-heal yourself. And everyone else is dead. Oh! Don't die, please. Man, they really have it out for Angelo today, don't they? Or at least these guys do. What, you owe money, Angelo? Huh? I th eh. Just because the casino's closed down doesn't mean you can't do anything uh, behind closed doors. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, actually, let's check that out real quick. Um, bag, view, contents. Okay, probably in the back here. Uh, rain clarity. Ooh. Hmm. And this one increases power. Let's use this one. Actually, oops. I should... Strength ring. Don't, okay. Okay. I think the one I was t probably talking about in my note with the rain clarity. I'm gonna give that. Um. Yeah, he's in the. F he the hero's in the front, so he's gonna want the most defense because he's the biggest target. Yep. It's kind, of, it's kind of a shame I had to lose the slime earrings. I thought they were pretty cool. <laughs> Granted, they don't they don't look any different on your character. In fact, I don't even in Dragon Quest IX, where pretty much every item you equip changes how your character looks. Not even the slime earrings had any effect on. Ooh, there we go. On um, words not coming to me. On how your character looked. I thought that'd be kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. I just like slimes a lot, but. Okay, we're, we're back. Uh, let's see. Is it just mirror, Or, uh, do the characters look a bit different if they're about to finish off an enemy? Because I'm just looking at Angelo when he, uh, shoots the bow, and when he smiles, he defeats an enemy, and when he doesn't smile, he, uh, he, uh, he just damages the enemy without killing it. And maybe I'm, well, maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe, uh, I, maybe he always smiles, I just didn't notice it that, that one time, but. That seemed to be the case. Okay, so now we're back on the ship. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Whoa. Oh, King Squid. Huh, okay. Uh, let's see. What technique should I use on you guys? Uh, flame Flash? Sure, why not. And you do that. Jessica, why don't you use... Crackle. Oh, they're all different. Oh, that's weird. 
Yeah, they're all, so for some reason, they're a different group. Oh, well. Then I guess I'll just uh, have her not use any MP for right now. But I have much defense, that's for sure. Just the way it's doing that much damage. They have a lot of HP, apparently. Yep. Ugh. Hmm. Maybe you should try using Bane. Oh my gosh! I heal up Angela, apparently. Okay, yeah. Uh... Oh, that was lucky. Angelo, how come you're almost dying already? Jeez. Okay. Heal you up. And. Oh. There we go, Bane. And does that. Oh man, it didn't take out one of them. Dang. That one in the far left is just taking a beating. Yeah, jeez, look at that guy. There we go, finally. And how come everyone hates Angelo today? And here I understand because yep, he's up in front, but jeez. Okay, um... Angelo, why don't you heal? And Jessica... Yeah, whip it. Whip it good. I don't care that's the second time you said joke, I still like it. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, is that all they do? They just swipe at you? Uh, well, no, let's, let's hope for a critical, because his critical percentage is up. And Angelo, I'm not sure what's your problem today, bud, but... You pissed somebody off. Uh, did you... Let's see, you would... Oh! Oh, never mind. I'm not sure where I was going with that joke. Uh, but, um... Anyways, I kind of want to apologize to you guys. Um, during the last recording session, so I guess the last, like, four or five videos, I'm not sure if I was just quiet that day or what, but it just seemed like I was really quiet and didn't say a whole lot compared to how much I usually talk. So my apologies there if it didn't seem like I was saying a whole lot. Uh, but no matter. I'm a little tired tonight, but I think I'm, I'm still doing pretty good. Ooh. Jessica leveled up. Perfect. Maximum HP. Maximum HP is five, six. Okay. One, seven. Jeez. Um. Okay. Four. Two in staves and two in sex appeal. Actually, someone told me. I'm again sorry. I forget the name, but someone did tell me that uh, Jessica will get um, a healing spell if you put some in sex appeal, and it's going to be a multi-heal uh, sort of leather whip. That's not, that's, not, that's not a better whip, right? Anyway, what I was trying to say is that when you level up sexy pill enough, Jessica gets a multi-heal um, type spell. Yeah, that's like one of the first ones we got. Well, let me just have a check. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. So, yeah. Again, I'm not, just, even if they didn't say that, I was still going to put some more sex appeal, because, like I said, I just find these character-specific skill trees um, pretty interesting. And obviously there's something going on with this island, because they have that dark storm clouds or whatever brewing in the distance. Okay, let's level this dock here. Yeah, everything's dead. Yes, we will disembark, actually. Probably a cutscene waiting. Oh, I don't think so. No cutscene in sight so far. Or maybe. Yeah, it's taking a while to load. Oh, nope. Just... Who are you guys? Are you the Paracrat? Paracrat people? <laughs> Why can I say that name? Surely it's too dangerous to carry on pursuing this fiend. I mean, look at what he did to Golding. Oh, huh? come on, man. Grow a spine. Who are you? I'm Yoshi. Interesting. <laughs> I thought there was no one on this island besides us and Golding's murderer. That means you must be the murderer. Let me give you a piece of advice. Steer clear of the old ruins in the middle of the island. Okay, head towards the ruins. Ignore Got it. me at your peril. You have been warned. Uh, is that a priest? What does he have to say? What? We chased that jester all the way here, but now it's come to. The Come to the crunch. What did I say? Come to the church. I was like, what? I can't just. 
I can't see any hope of victory against someone strong enough to overpower Mr. Golding. Mr. Golding must be pretty strong. But now we've come this far, we can hardly just turn around and go home. Watch, well, you could do exactly that. Oh, what to do, what to do. Yeah, okay. Anything in here? It doesn't look like it. And a nice ship, though. Now do we have an area at the... Yep, map of the island. Uh, looks like there might be some stuff to the right and left. We can at least check that out. Uh, oh dear. Lump shamans. Okay. Okay, good. They're in groups. So let's. Um. Hmm. No, I don't want that. One. Probably want to use sizzle on these guys. And yeah, just use some multi-targeting targeting stuff. I did use whoosh, but Angelo's uh. MP isn't looking all that hot right now. So, Crackle! Yep, I love Crackle. Hasn't filled. Mm, I mean, has Crackle filled me? Not really. Is that those, uh. Some of those enemies at the Castle Jordan were resistant against ice, but other than that, yeah. It's been a pretty dang good spell to me so far. Oh! Okay, cool, they're not that strong. That's good. I just need to get to like the dungeon entrance right, then I can just zoom back to town and uh, zoom right back here, so we don't need to worry too much about. Uh... Okay, let's have you guys do that, and you do that, and you do that. Okay. That way we uh, don't have to worry about using all this MP right now as we search around the island before actually heading to the dungeon. Fuddle. Okay, good. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I gave the clarity ring to Yoshi, so... So that's, that doesn't help us at all if they don't attack Yoshi with that spell. So now Yoshi's resilient against curses and confusion, right? Okay, so that should be good. So I was good to have at least one party member resistant to some sass element so you don't get screwed over. Uh, red mold, okay. You know, just like one enemy manages to like confuse the entire party, and then you know, wait, what are you gonna do? So that's good. Uh, let's see, this place doesn't seem to have much going for it. Hmm. Oh, okay, lesser demons. Okay. Huh. Don't know what to make of that. I mean, they're demons, but they're lesser demons, so. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Okay, we'll just attack him, I guess. So he throws cursed orbs of pure hatred. Oh, is this the cursed thing again? Okay. Yeah, it is. 24 damage? Ugh. Well, I guess it's not too bad compared to everything else we've seen so far. I guess within the past few minutes. How long we've been recording. Ooh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so they can curse you and they just have a normal attack. Ugh, not really worth mentioning then, I guess. You know, basic enemies. And, okay, let's finish this off. And I remember just since we ran into those hipsters and those uh, witches that tried to, um, charm us. It just seems, I'm just expecting, like, every enemy to have, like, one, uh, quirk or, uh, one gimmick or something. But that seemed to be the case for these guys. They seem kind of generic, honestly. Oops, here we go. Nope, just more demons, okay. Hmm. Okay, so apparently those uh, lesser demons can also use, like, a flash type move that can dazzle. Not, or, is it dazzle? Yeah, dazzle your party members so they uh, have a hard time hating with, uh. What the devil is this? Oh, yeah, we're hitting with uh, physical attacks. I mean, what's all this then? Is this an NPC, or is this a strong monster? Oh, darn it. So we're going to wait for a second to... Oh, no, never mind. We have a new enemy. Toxic zombie, huh? Well, let's take this guy out first, actually. I don't want him poisoning our party members. Which, given by the name, I'm assuming that's what he's going to do. So, let's uh, go ahead and... air out him. And... Uh, let's just try bang. Okay, let's do this. Hmm... Nope, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't sure what I was expecting for that attack. Hmm, this seems... I don't know. I 
I'm just trying to figure out just like the full effect of Flame Slash, because I'm trying to figure out what enemies are weak to fire and what enemies would just be easier just to use a normal slash and, you know, try to use that critical percentage increase to the full extent, but... Eh, what can you do? Let's see, enemies are defeated. Good. A bit of, good bit of experience. Nothing to sneeze at. Okay, this looks like an enemy. What the devil is... A Colt Rider. Oh, darn it. Okay. Crest in the air. Oh, my. Okay. Hmm, he's not a dragon. Flame might work. <laughs> no, let's not call our team quite yet. Now let's just attack. And, Angela, why don't you heal the hero just in case? Jessica, no, you psych up, actually. Hmm, this might be an interesting member to our team. Not gonna lie. Well, I had to check his stats out first. His, his attack is amazing from what I've seen just now. Uh, attack. Actually, just in case, let's use Kabuff. I'm not sure how strong this guy is. He may not be very strong at all, but better safe than sorry. Psych up, then we can use like Fizzle or something next time. Wait, what? Did I target the wrong person? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Ugh. <laughs> Why couldn't he have done that? Gone first that time, jeez. Defense increases, okay. Uh, but at that crest, that's probably a magic attack, so increasing our defense may not do anything. I'm still not quite sure what determines magic, you know, defense. The game said it was, it game confirmed that it wasn't, uh, oh gosh darn it. Spells, heal yourself, Yoshi. Okay, there we go. What I was trying to say is, the game has confirmed that defense doesn't go into uh, magic defense, but they haven't explained how it works differently then. 46? Yeah, this guy's tough. No, I'm not liking this. Okay, that's fine. But he seems to be doing the same amount of damage to everyone. So, maybe it's like true damage or something. I mean, not magic, but just the crest attack in general. Hmm. Actually... No, yeah, what am I doing? I have Angelo a heal and Yoshi attack. There we go. That seems to be working. And I don't think... I doubt he has too much more, so we'll just try normal crack. Let's see. Nope, he's still, still taking hits like a boss. Defense seems pretty high too. I'm expecting a little more damage than this, like 21 or whatever. Yeah. Huh. Oh well, shoot, guys. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, what else we got here? Let's try a flame slash. Even though we can tell that fire isn't particularly. Well, it's not ineffective. It's just not super effective, I guess. Um, let's just try a normal frizzle, I guess. It's probably not worth it to try stacking up again. Or maybe it is. Who knows? I didn't think this guy had too much more left in him, but... This guy kind of reminds me of someone. I'm just not sure what. Oh, it kind of reminds me of, um... Of the sh some of the Shin Megami Tensei monsters. Uh, like Matador and stuff from... Uh, what was it? In Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, there was like... A group of enemies he had to defeat in order to progress with a side quest. A pretty big side quest, mind you, too. And they were like Matador and like Queen Mab or something. They were all like skeletons. Uh, sure, that's fine. Hmm. Anyway, that's what he kind of reminds me of right now. Probably no relation, of course, but... You know, it's an RPG. Of course, you're going to see a few walking skeletons or whatever. Jiminy Christmas. Guy's taking forever to beat. And yeah, he's doing a lot of damage, but he's not doing enough to the point where it's a red. Honestly, it's just kind of annoying at this point, but let's see here. Mid heal yourself. 
Heal yourself, jeez. Okay, only four damage, that wasn't worth it. Yeah, I guess I should have been psyching up this entire time. Jeez. Okay, okay, uh... Well... How much more can you really have? I mean, seriously. Apparently quite a bit. You know what, I'm good. I'm just gonna cut until I finally beat this guy. Jeez. Okay, well, that was only like another minute or so. But, uh, yeah, the Colt Rider, we finally got him. Didn't give much more experience than the other guys, too. Yes, actually we do, because this it's a zombie. I kind of figured that much, but... <laughs> Dead Noble? Dead Noble. That's probably a pun of something. Dead Noble. I guess he's a noble who's dead, but... Uh. Well, let's just take his stats real quick. Monster Team... Uh, switch members... Let's take the Foul Foul. Let's see, 418, 158, 116. Yeah, he's just a little bit better than the Foul Foul. I still wish we could find another dragon member so we can uh, move on. Uh, well, not really move on, but just see if we can get like an all out dragon attack or whatever it is. Because they, I'm pretty sure that, that one woman said that they get a special attack if they all have the same weapon type. And, and or if they're all part of the same family. Okay, well that was annoying. Yeah, we're still... Yeah, a whole bunch of toxic zombies and some more of those mushrooms. Squelch. Yep. Can we just do a cast all, please? I don't care how much MP it uses. Uh, okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's check out the other side of the island, then we can end the video off. So... I know there was like a right path and a left path and then straight forward to the temple or whatever that was at the top. But, well, there has to be like a chest or another strong monster somewhere around here. Oh, skeleton soldiers, huh? Eh, these guys look the same. I'll let you guys know if there's any, if, a if they have a different attack, that is why they're going to skip this fight. Okay, so those uh, soldiers seem pretty pretty similar to the other ones. I think the only difference is that like one of them casts mid heal. I'm not sure if the other soldiers could have done that before, but oh, anyway, way those 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 uh, soldiers can. So just keep that in mind. And man, darn. Wait, 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 right? Okay, so just need to go over this direction. Okay, so. Off we go into the wild gray yonder. Man, this place is dead. Okay, so it's just more of those enemies we've already seen. The soldier and the mushrooms and all that good stuff. Um, seriously, what did this island used to be? There are all these weird ruins around. Oh my gosh. Jeez, guys. Okay, so... Oy, caramba, those guys were somewhat annoying. Just wouldn't go down. Well, eh. Well, they didn't really... <laughs> it's, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it was really worth it for the most experience we got. Jeez. Okay, I just left that last fight. Didn't seem a whole lot. Didn't seem worth it. That's, that's the phrase I'm looking for. Didn't seem worth it to fight those guys, but... Is there anything over here? Okay, oh. And these enemies are starting to annoy me a little bit. It doesn't like there's anything out here. Wonderful. Okay, guys, well, in the next episode of Dragon Quest VIII Blind, we'll, uh, get our, at least start our way into the dungeon, and, uh, <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen after that. Maybe we'll fight Dulmangus, maybe we won't. Okay, guys, well, thanks, so, thank you so much for watching, anyway, and have a great day. Peace out.